This video shows how to complete the shutdown flow for both the captain and the FO, followed by the shutdown checklist. This transitions from the taxi phase into the shutdown phase. So first, the captain will instruct the FO to turn the taxi light off as you're approaching the gate. Once the airplane has come to a complete stop, the captain will then set the parking brake, verify the red light is on, and that the accumulator is showing above 1,000 pounds. This will be shown just above the red line here. Once that's done, that will signal to the first officer that it's now okay to power the transfer buses using the APU generator. IDGs are both powered off when the gen off bus light is illuminated. That signals to the captain, it's now safe to shut down the engines. Number one, number two, flight director off. As those engines are shutting down, signals to the FO that it's now okay to complete his flow fasten seatbelt sign to off. Anti-collision light, off. Fuel pumps, before you touch the pumps, verify where the fuel is. We have fuel in the center tank, so the pumps, we're gonna leave the left fuel, left forward fuel pump on in the center tank. So right off, and every other pump off, verify four low pressure lights. Cabin utility switch comes to off. Verify anti-ice is off. Hydraulic electric pumps only. Come to off. Verify four low pressure lights. Now we want to configure the bleeds. Packs are both on. We want to open the isolation valve. And we want to open, sorry, yeah, open the bleed uh, valve as well. Verify the dual bleed light illuminates with that. Coming down. Flight director switch off. Transponder off. The captain will then call the shutdown checklist, upon which the shutdown checklist is complete. That's the shutdown phase for both the captain and the FO.